Hey guys, I'm Joe and this is the Rebels Advocate. Just want to make a real quick video, or I'm trying to make it quick because I got a lot of work to do. It's like 40 some degrees out here, which I guess is perfect weather. You got to be working outside. But uh, I know it's been a while since my last video. I've actually, I've actually made a few videos since then, but none of them's got posted. Uh, some of those were not my fault. Uh, we had some technical difficulties uh, I did like I did one really long video and which was probably garbage anyway and my mic just cut out like 25 minutes into the video it just cut out there's no audio for the video so that one was gone then I, I recorded another one and I just I sit on it and I just I hated it because I was trying to talk about something but I think I haven't fully wrapped my brain around how I feel about it so maybe I'll do that in the future. I try my best, but time has been hectic. I haven't had much time. Uh, things have been crazy in my family, as some of y'all know. Uh, and today, I got a Sunday afternoon. I got to do some yard work. My yard's a jungle, and I've been working on a washing machine for the wife, and this and that, and summer's about over, so I got to get this stuff done before winter hits us. Uh, and here comes my dog to probably knock over the... Look at here. Look at Molly. Yes, look at Molly. Say hi. <laughs> She'll probably be knocking over the camera in a little bit. But, uh, go play. Go play. Yeah, go play. Anyway, I just want to talk about something real quick for like five minutes or, or so. Is, I say, seriously, dog? You're a good girl, but go play. Go play. There you go. Yeah, go explore. Get that groundhog. Yeah, go run that groundhog off. Go get it. So anyway, uh, I see a lot of times online, people, like, the country's divided, right? Like, not just religious and, and everything, but right and left. And it's crazy. And I hear a lot of people talking about, you know, trying to have conversations and trying to you know come together and we talk about those people that are so far on either side and for a lot of us you know for me i'm leaning left so i talk about these people they're just so far on the right and we, a lot of times you hear people say things like well there's certain people that are just unreachable they're just crackpot crazy you're not going to reach those people so ignore them and to a certain extent i believe that's true you know, for some people, some people you're not going to reach. However, I don't think you can judge that just by how crazy they are or the crazy shit they're saying. And I'm going to show you an example of that. And I, I honestly, I hate to do this uh, because it's embarrassing and it's sad. But I'm just going to give you a glimpse into the life of Joe eight years ago. Eight years ago. You know, I've talked before about Facebook memories being embarrassing when they pop up, and this is no exception. This one come up today, and uh, I just want to warn you ahead of time, this one's racist, <laughs> and then and it's bigoted, it's ignorant, and then it takes, ooh, does it take a turn. So here's the, here's the status. This is what I posted today, eight years ago. I said, in these tough times, I'm extremely excited to see these Mexicans working in, in my town. Also, I'm still patiently waiting for the rest of my work uniforms, which would already be here, but they m must first be shipped to Canada so they can sew a reflective strip on my shirts. This is the dumbest country in the world. Now, first of all, there, there is some truth in that status like there is some stuff that I probably steal like for example I remember I worked for a you know a gas oil company I had to wear you know fire retardant shirts with the reflective stripes on them and seriously it took forever to get them because they made the shirts somewhere not here or wherever they sent them all the way to California to get reflect or California Canada to get those reflective stripes sewed on them and then came back here. That's ignorant. And then, as far as 
the Mexicans doing work, like, first of all, there, there weren't any, it wasn't Mexicans that lived here. These were companies coming in from way off from here doing work. And it is weird. Like, for example, I live in Virginia. One time, I went all the way to Texas. It was an entire crew from my hometown working in Texas. It's that That's kind of weird and messed up. But, uh, so there's some of that that is messed up and needs to be looked into. Like, what's going on here? Why, why is things this way? But the Joe from eight years ago, there's no, you know, the fact that they were Mexicans uh, kind of riled me up more. I, I, I just be honest. I just be honest. Like, but let's dive into the comments. And I'm not going to read them all, and I'm not going to read other people's. Uh, some of these are gone because some of these people, like, there's some of these where I'm responding to people, but those people have since blocked me. So it's, so it's like a one sided conversation. Uh, and and the cool thing is, like, today, like, so many people argue with me on Facebook. Well, not so much now, they used to. Now they mostly ignore me, but. Uh, back then, man, like the comments on here are all like, hell yeah, Joe, preach it. You know, nobody argued with me. But I'm answering somebody here who, their comments since gone, so I don't know what they said. And here's what I, here's what I replied to them. Apparently they said something about Mexicans being here. And I said, yeah, blank, you left us, and now they're taking over, lol, the Mexicans. The Mexicans are taking over. I'm telling you guys, I'm not proud of this. Oh, it's, it's it's sad to read. And I say, I go on. I don't mean to sound like a typical redneck. They're taking our jobs, but I'm just frustrated with our country, and it's going to get much worse. Now, I thought maybe that was a little racist. Maybe some of you agree with some of that. Just wait, because it's about to go from racist to just. Bat shit crazy. Bat shit tin full hat crazy. Like I, I don't even know where this comes from. I say, and it's gonna get much worse. And this global warming BS is exactly that. Won't be the first time science is used to blind the civilians and usher in their agendas. I wrote that. The Nazis used it quite effectively to deceive their sheep. And no, I'm not just an Obama hater, in parentheses, I regretfully supported him before. Regretfully. This has been coming for a long time. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I blocked some of this out. Like, sometimes I don't remember this stuff. Like, if you said, hey Joe, did you once deny, you know, uh, that climate change was real, I'd have been like, no, nah, I don't think so, you know, I, I mean, maybe I was on the fence, but, but, but I, honestly, I, <laughs> I would have probably said that if you asked me that before I read this, that's just, if I read that today, if I, if I stumbled across that status today from somebody else, and somebody else was saying the exact same things I was saying, I would probably, that would be one of those people I would write off, and I would say, you're not going to reach those people, those people are just batshit crazy. There's nothing you can do for those people. But, you know, that was me. That was me eight years ago. And unfortunately, like, if I could just go through all my memories, uh, I, could, I could find a lot worse. Uh, I, I could find stuff where, you know, I found stuff where I was being really bigoted towards the gay community, like, uh, just, and then conspiratorial shit. Like, it just crazy batshit crazy stuff and and not all of it has to do like some of it some of it is related to religion a lot of it isn't a lot of it just you know I, I i don't know i don't know i don't like so i don't think like i don't think not long after that i began my transition to atheism and along that road also started drifting further left, further towards the center and the left, what have you. I don't think those things are related. Uh, not believing in a God doesn't make you a liberal. 
doesn't make you a Democrat. It just makes you an atheist. Like, atheism doesn't make you one party or the other. It has nothing to do with that. Uh, so in a way, they're not related. And in a way, they are. I think in the way I would say it is related is the same people that were indoctrinating me into religion were indoctrinating me into the right, into that way of thinking. Also, when you lose your God belief, that was the most important, biggest belief that I held. That would have, should have been the last thing I would ever let go of. But somehow when I let go of that, then you just step back and you question everything. Everything. Because it's like, if that's not true, like that was the very foundation of my life. Like I built, every, like that was the foundation that I built everything else that I believed on. And honestly, uh, that's a big reason why a lot of people deny climate change. Uh, because how can that be real when God controls the climate? God controls the world. He's, com he's coming back soon, guys. Like, why are we worried about what's going to happen to this g world in 50, 100 years when God's going to be coming back, like, any time now? Like, I mean, just look around. He's coming back. Like, that's the mindset as a Christian. So, when you give up on that, you rethink everything. So, you know, if I, if I can make one point in this video, it would be just this. Don't give up on your batshit crazy Aunt Sally or your Uncle Ned or, you know, whoever it is that's, uh, you know, building a bunker and wearing their tinfoil hat so the government can't read their minds and, like, don't give up on those people. Uh, I was one of those people. Yeah, I might not be the most sane guy now, but I think I'm a little better than I was eight years ago. <laughs> anyway, that's really all I got to say. I got to get to mowing this yard. It's kind of cold out here. So I'm going to move around, warm up, do some work. But it's nice talking to you guys. Uh, be good. We'll talk to you next time. Hey, I forgot my last video, but uh, shout out to my $10 club, patreon.com slash the rebels advocate to uh, brandon shaw and the ten dollar club appreciate you brandon and shout out to all my patrons the other the other two of you uh and if you want to become a patron you can do so at patreon.com slash the rebels advocate thanks for watching guys talk to you later